Hello, discrete math fans. Let's construct a truth table for this statement form, not p or the quantity p and q. All right, so this is how it's done. The input variables are p and q, and we show those on the far left. Since there are two input variables, that means there's four combinations of truth values for p and q. Then we have our constituent pieces that are in the statement form. We have not p. We also have p and q. Then we'll piece those together with the last thing, which is not p or p and q. Okay, we can see the value of various truth statements like this one. This one is true because it is a disjunction of false and true. The only one where we get a false in the final column is this one because there the constituent pieces are both false. The only way we can get a false out of a disjunction is if both of the inputs are false. We're going to say that two statement forms are logically equivalent if they have the identical truth values for each possible substitution of statements for their statement variables. And then we'll say that two statements are logically equivalent if and only if they have logically equivalent statement forms. Keep in mind the difference between a statement form and a statement. A statement is a sentence that you write in English, possibly using some mathematics, but a statement form is something that just has the P's and the Q's and the ands and the ors and the nots. Let's prove that these two statement forms are not logically equivalent. The two statement forms in question are the negation of P or Q, and the other statement form is not p or not q. So what we do is we create a truth table and we show the possible values of our two statement forms that we're interested in. Notice that here is our first statement form, the negation of p or q, and we have our second statement form, not p or not q, and we see that here. All right, there's a lot of work in here that went into creating this truth table. What you should see now is that the two entries, the two values for the statement forms we're interested in do not have identical profiles. They do not all have the same truth statements associated with them. So these are not logically equivalent. So the thing that I've circled in green would have to be the same if they were going to be logically equivalent. So what we'll write in symbols when we want to say that two statement forms are not logically equivalent, we're going to use this symbol here. It looks like an equal sign with three bars, and then we put a not through it to indicate that they're not logically equivalent. So of course, if they are logically equivalent, then we'll use that triple equal bar. All right, now let's prove that P and, and then in parentheses, Q or R, is logically equivalent to P and Q or P and R. So what I think you should do now is try to draw a truth table that has all of these pieces in there. Now let me get you started on how to construct your truth table. Before we do that, I'm going to mention that this is an identity that's called the distributive law. And there's actually two different distributive laws. We'll see another one later. Okay, let's get a start on the truth table. Okay, here's how you're going to start your truth table. Remember that there are three input variables, P, Q, and R. That means there have to be eight different possibilities for input values for P, Q, and R. P has two choices, Q has two choices, R has two choices. 
Now you're going to construct your truth table so that you have these headers. These are the things that you want to compute. And then ultimately, it's going to be these two statements that you want to compare to see if they're true. All right. What I'd like you to do now is take a moment to fill out this truth table with trues and falses. See if you can work out to get the same thing that I do. Take a moment to do this. So this is what you should have for your truth table. Check out over and make sure that you've got the same thing that I do. And what we want to see now is that we've got these two columns in the truth table. Those were the ones that we were interested in. Notice that they have the same truths and falses in there. That means that the corresponding the corresponding statement forms are logically equivalent. Here's the conclusion that we can make that these two statement forms are logically equivalent. Okay, that's all for now.